The revolution of wind energy is here. Well, maybe. Welcome to Green Lab Tribe, your green energy channel. You know the most common wind turbines, the ones that have blades and spins? You know, this. Well, a Spanish company has developed a wind turbine without blades. I'm not even sure you can call it a turbine, but let's continue anyway. This is the Vortex Bladeless Wind Turbine. It is basically a long tube that oscillates with the wind. It is based in resonance. When a fluid passes through a circular section, these sort of whirlpools of or vortex are generated. Notice how it alternates sides each time. This induces a force to the tube that changes direction periodically. When this force frequency matches the natural resonance frequency of the pole, the pole oscillates. Vortex Bladeless created a design that uses this vibration to harvest wind energy. I think this is a really clever idea because just by seeing it, the two main advantages jumps to the eye. First, almost no moving parts. The only part that moves a bit is the pole and it's just a vibration. This can result in less cost of production and maintenance. And second, there is no need for an orientation system. Regular wind turbines need an orientation system because they have to face the wind in order to work. But with a bladeless turbine, wind can come from any direction and it still will work. This also allows the turbine to be more efficient in turbulent zones. Standard wind turbines need clean streams of wind in order to work properly. They need to be placed in sites with the least obstacles possible and avoid turbulence. But because the bladeless turbines work with the wind in any direction, turbulence is not a big problem. It transforms vibration into electricity using a special electromagnetic induction setup inside the tube. There is also an additional setup of magnets that is purpose I will explain later in the video. But this is Green Lab Tribe. Here we don't just stuck, we built. So I built it a working prototype of this type of turbine. But before that, if you like this content, you can support us by buying our digital designs, starting at just two bucks in our digital store. There you will find 3D printing and CNC designs using our projects and other sort of items like this portable grill for laser cutting. All of them are our original designs. Or you can join our tribe in Patreon where you will have access to all the pies all the designs and most importantly you will have the opportunity to adopt a tree and support our reforestation program. I'll leave you the links in the description so you can learn more about this. Now back to the subject. I designed a prototype to actually see how this kind of turbine works. With the help of a CNC machine, 3D printer and of course my computer. Actually I think these guys use 3D printing too because I can see the patterns in some of the pictures on the website. I tried to keep it simple, I divided the vibration motion to the X and Y components and put small generators on each side. I did this because I already had a gearbox design that could do the work instead of designing a whole new type of vibrational generator, like the one that Vortex Playlist Turbine has. This is not the most efficient system, but I think it will work for now. I use these common dynamos because they are easy to find and can provide voltage even at low speeds. The structures were made with plywood and the pole was made with plastic bottles by cutting its top and bottom and putting them together with the structure. For the dimensions, I tried to maintain the proportions of that of the original vortex plate with the turbine to scale to make it smaller. Once the parts were cut and printed, I put everything together. I connected a leg light to see if the system works and at first glance it does, it works. Next step, to test the device. I found a windy place, put the turbine there and let the wind do the rest. Did it work? No. I think it just oversimplified the thing. The blade vibrates, but it's just really subtle and the generators don't even get to move. I think the two problems here is the pole rigidity and the steam induction system. The pole is too rigid to move, I think, and clearly I need to design a vibration induction system instead of just using this component's uh, generator. But there is one thing that I believe is the most important goal. Remember this magnet arrangement here? This is the tuning system. It consists of two sets of magnets facing each other. One in the oscillating pole and the other connected to the ground so it doesn't move. They work as springs with variable elastic constants. The stronger the oscillation, the stronger the force between the magnets. This changes the natural frequency of the pole and extends the wind range in which the turbine can work. At the end, I think this also gives the stability to the pole and I didn't put this tuning system by design. So every time a gust of wind appeared, the pole just went one side and stayed there. In other words, I just underestimated the complexity of the design and I have to do it again. With all the features and calculations. So, what did we learn? Even if I wasn't able to generate any power, 
in oscillating and it could actually see how this turbine works. But that's all. Once again, I think this is a really cool design and personally, I believe that it has a good future ahead. And I think I'm not the only one, judging by the messages they have to put in their website saying they do not have yet commercially available turbines. I will create another prototype. The goal is to make it work, so knowing the first errors I made, the second for sure will generate some power. What do you think about this technology? Can we actually call it turbine? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe. My name is David, and see you in the next video of Green Love Tribe, your green energy channel. Bye.